We all love food. We eat food. We need food. And so it's no surprise that the devil uses food to tempt us. Jesus was first tempted in the area of human appetite in the wilderness. It's interesting because Adam and Eve failed in the area of human appetites. And likewise, the devil tempts us with food. Too much food, the wrong kind of food, excessive food. Food can be dangerous and even deadly. Proverbs 23 and verse 1 to 2 says, When you sit down to eat with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetites. Now the Bible is not telling us to hurt ourselves, but that a lack of self-control can be hurtful. And don't get me wrong, eating good food is not a bad thing. That's not what the Bible is saying. After all, God created us with taste buds. Amen. But food becomes an idol whenever we desire it more than we desire God. Any physical craving that we put ahead of God will become an idol. It's not just food, but it's other cravings that cause us to be corrupted. The devil appealed to the appetite of Jesus. He was tempted to turn stone into bread. It was tempting because he was hungry and because he had the power to do what the devil was saying. If I was hungry and I had the power to turn stone and rocks into buns and baguettes, I probably would. But that would be a selfish use of divine power. Jesus never used his divine power to meet his human needs. That's why Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Being obedient to God's word is more important than filling our empty bellies. So let us be like Jesus. He resisted the temptation of appetite, and he said in John 4 and verse 34, My food is to do the will of him that sent me and finish his work.